Something you may want to remember this turkey season is what I call going around the mountain. So you stay tuned in this video, we're going to be talking about this strategy that may help you kill that old long beard this spring. Now something a lot of people tend to forget uh, when they're turkey hunting is to go back around the second time. What I call going back around the mountain. You know the Bible talks about the children of Israel when they walked in the wilderness for 40 years and Moses led them out of Egypt land and they walked around the wilderness for 40 years. You know you Bible readers know what I'm talking about. But all they really did was walked around the mountain for 40 years until their unbelief died, uh, till that generation's belief uh, died in the wilderness. Well as turkey hunters, you know we don't want to die in the wilderness in our faith, but, <laughs> but, but as turkey hunters we kind of want to go back around the mountain again. Now I know a lot of new turkey hunters watch this channel, a lot of inexperienced turkey hunters uh, watch and, and you learn every year and I appreciate all you viewing, but one thing you never want to forget is before you leave that area to go back around the mountain where you just went uh, earlier in the morning. You know, especially in that time of year, in that third period that we talk about in the phases, you know, that lockdown period right there at the end of April, the middle part, the end of April when it gets really tough and the hens are just, uh, the hens are out, the gobble are locked down with the hens you hear them gobbling on the roost you'll leave your truck go toward gobbling turkeys you'll set up on them 70 80 100 yards they fly down they go quiet and you know and that's all she wrote for about two or three hours and then you get discouraged and you want to get up and move on and uh, you got a point a to point b and then point c is the truck you know for the day and depending on what uh, time that your state allows turkey hunting some are 12 o'clock some are 1 o'clock some are all day but a lot of times around that 11 o'clock period if people ain't uh, you know if you, if you ain't careful you'll get in a hurry and you'll want to leave without going back around where you was earlier that morning but usually if I'm hunting a spot I'm always going back around and hunting uh, and, and, and doing one more lap around the property because many, many times you're going to get a gobbler fired up that was there all the time before, but he had hens with him right off the roost and he got quiet. He already had what he wanted. But as the hens begin to leave and the hens begin to nest and the hens begin to do their thing during the day, then the gobblers get by themselves. And if you'll go back around the second time, many times you're going to get that gobbler fired up that was there the whole time. He just never said nothing the first time you went around. But that, but right around that, you know, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, right around that mid mid morning many times you'll get them fired up but if you got a beeline you know a point A to point B to point C and we're out of here then many times you ain't gonna kill him you know my largest gobbler I killed two years ago right there in East Tennessee you know 27 pound gobbler inch and a half spurs you know two 11 inch beards you know y'all saw him uh, here on the channel when, when we had that hunt you know beautiful gobbler huge gobbler but that's how I killed him you know we hunted that morning we hunted that whole area I mean from daylight all the way till 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 9 30 you know and and we and we and we went out and, and and went somewhere else on the property. But right before we hung it up for the day, I said, "Let's go back around that flat one more time. Let's go back around there." And sure enough, we go back around there right about uh, 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And right there he was, you know, and I wound up killing him. If I would have just went on to the house or went on up the road to another place because they wasn't, quote, doing right or gobbling, I'd have never killed him. So when you circle back, like the children of Israel, when you circle back around and do some of that light calling and do so, and just be that hen that's kind of going back through that area, them gobblers many times will gobble when they wouldn't gobble before. He remembers where you were at. Even though he wasn't gobbling earlier, he remembers where you were at earlier. He, he heard that hen up there, which was you. He heard you up there calling at eight o'clock in the morning. Oh, who's that? Who's that new gal? But he wasn't saying nothing because he had his gals with him. But once them gals leave him, he's going to stay in that area or he's even going to come on in that area where you were at before and he's just going to be in there kind of looking around for that, that hen that he heard earlier. And as you call coming back into that area, a lot of times he'll gobble and many times you'll call him right in and kill him. So circle back around just like the children of Israel did and many, many times that'll kill you. Maybe the largest gobbler of your life like it did me. But a lot of times people, like I said, they get in a hurry and get out of there. And you know, that Wendy's hamburger or that, you know, uh, that, 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 that uh, Dr. Pepper is just too good <laughs> and they're and, you know and they don't circle back around 
circle back though because man many times that's when you'll kill that old gobbler that was there the whole time but now he's vocal and now he wants to play the game so you remember that this coming spring on your next turkey hunt hey, make sure to subscribe to this channel just hit that subscribe button down the corner i'd really appreciate it also check out all the links below check out uh, spring fever custom calls where you right now can get the old slide box call my signature series box call and the old slide slate call and my mouth calls at springfevercustomcalls.com check out the good folks at tideway too they have a lot of great apparel you know vests uh, uh, jackets, uh, waders, rubber boots, turkey vests, uh, you know, backpack, a lot of great hunting accessories over there at Tidewee Range Finders. Uh, you know, very affordable products, great products. Check them out at Tidewee.com and use that promo code DALE for an 18% discount. Just use that promo code DALE and get a better discount. We'd really appreciate it. Also, check out my website where you can get my shirts. Also, at DaleOutdoors.com and check out my website also. And uh, all the other links below, social media, Facebook, uh, Instagram, come follow me over there as well. Join me on Patreon where you can give a small donation also to Dell Outdoors if this channel has helped you in any way and you want to give us a little tip uh, just to help us continue to bring these great videos to you. We'd really appreciate a $5 tip or $10, uh, 4 or $5, whatever you want to give or more, whatever you want to give. It just goes right back into Dell Outdoors. I'd really appreciate it if you'd help us there on Patreon and uh, it really helps out a lot. We really appreciate all our Patreon followers over there as well. You stay tuned to the next video because we got a lot more great content coming in the weeks ahead. Turkey season's coming closer and we're all getting excited for it. And we want you to be successful this coming spring. And that's what we're all about here is passing the knowledge, helping you become a better turkey hunter.